Hello everyone. My name is Kalikin Kormondo. I'm gonna present our work on correlation power analysis and higher order mas masking implementation of wage. So this is a joint work with professors Winspei and Guang Gong, uh, uh, Cheng uh, Gongye, Raghavendra Rohit, uh, Tiang Hong Su, Winji Wei, and uh, Nusa uh, Zirat. So in this talk, first I will provide some uh, introduction on side channel analysis and different masking schemes. And then I'll introduce wage. And then I'll present our, uh, our results on correlation power analysis of wage. And then I'll present a higher order masking scheme, scheme for wage to protect against side channel attacks. Then I'll conclude my talk by leaving some future work. So side channel analysis is a class of attacks that exploit the implementation and physical execution of a cryptographic algorithm to extract the key from physical leakages such as power consumption, electromagnetic signals, etc. And there are different types of power analysis, differential power analysis, correlation power analysis, simple power analysis. More specifically, the correlation power analysis uses the correlation property of the Hamming weight of unknown data and power samples. So in the past years, there have been several, there have been different uh, uh, a, a, dif a different uh, power analysis, uh, uh, a dif different side channel attacks, and various countermeasures have been proposed on standardized ciphers, such as DAIS, AES, SATRI, and so on. So to protect ciphers against power, um, against uh, side channel attacks, so one of the famous technique is the masking. So a masking technique provides assurance against uh, side channel attacks, so how does the masking is done? So let's say we have x and we mask it with a uh, and we mask it with a random value r and we create x prime. So we are representing we are encoding the value ax as r and x prime. So this is a two sharing uh, two sharing masking. So this is and we are performing computation. Uh, we, we are we are encoding uh, x as in form of r and x prime, and we are in, uh, we are performing operations such that it does not leak any information about x. Similarly, it can be extended to, extended it to any order uh, any order sharing. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so now let let us assume that our cipher uh, uh, our uh, cryptographic algorithm is represented using an XOR, not an AND gate. So the operation uh, on the shares for XOR and NOT are straightforward. Basically, we can, uh, uh, in order to perform those two operations, we can uh, perform the uh, respective operation on cipher. But for NOT, we need to perform only NOT operation, only on one uh, share of the cipher. However, for the case of AND is a bit different because AND computation involves uh, computing different uh, uh, cross share terms, these XIJs. So it, uh, to compute uh, the shares of uh, Z from the shares of uh, X and Y, we need to compute these uh, uh, cross terms and perform some additional XOR operations. So asymptotically, which uh, to, com uh, to securely compute this, it has an overhead of order of N squared. Now, similarly, similarly for any function, oops, similarly for uh, if we have any function F, then we can uh, we can compute uh, a uh, f gadget which will secure uh, which will take an n share input and it will produce an n share output. So there are in symmetric key ciphers there are different uh, uh, s box is one of the common component and uh, in the in the in the past uh, uh, so there is a vast literature uh, a vast amount of literature on developing different masking techniques for s boxes. So here we are consider we are uh, I'm, uh, I'll mention only which are related to our work. So uh, the the uh, so uh, the Rivian and Prauf proposed the first provably secure is uh, is box scheme for higher order masking, and this is based on the uh, finite field. There are many other work uh, that uh, implemented a secure masking for AES S box, DES S box, and so on. So there is another approach is the that uh, uh, is uh, based on the randomized lookup table. So the first uh, uh, ran, uh, first order randomized lookup table uh, uh, construction was proposed by Chari et al. And uh, later on, Coron has uh, generalized it to the higher order randomized table. 
So in this randomized table, uh, so we have an input X, uh, we have an uh, input, say, uh, we have input shares X1, X2, Xn, and this table is basically computing the output shares Y1, Y2, Yn, such as the XOR of these uh, YIs is uh, giving uh, SX. So it has two main steps. One is first a row shuffling operation is performed according to the transformation one uh, here, according to this transformation. And then after a refresh mask operation is performed to, uh, to, uh, uh, to prevent where that row is shifted to. So basically it takes an uh, uh, N iterations to compute this table. So, so pro, uh, the ISW uh, probing model is one of the is uh, is an approach uh, to measure the security of this masking scheme. So Isai, Sahai, and Wagner first uh, 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 initiated the study of uh, computing uh, evaluating a uh, evaluating a circuit in the presence of an adversary, where the adversary can probe up to t intermediate variables in the circuit. So now and they and and they saw that. Uh, uh, to, to protect against such adversary, the number of share has to be at least 2t plus 1. So the t probe security is equivalent to the tth order differential security. And later, recently, uh, a strong and uh, a defined and strong, uh, uh, a strong, uh, strong, uh, strong, uh, strong, uh, strongly secure definition is proposed. So it is called the strong non-interference security. So in this security definition, the number of shares can be up to T plus, uh, uh, can be at least T plus one. And another interesting property of this security, it offers the composability. That means if we have two, if we have two TSNI secure gadgets, then if we compose them, then the resultant gadget will be again TSNI secure. So the TSNI security uh, ensures that if an adversary some internal probes in the gadget, which are in J, then the adverse, uh, then the probes can be simulated a set of input shares, which is uh, and uh, and its number is bounded by the uh, number of probing variables. So now I'll provide a description of wedge. So wedge is a permutation based authenticated encryption scheme built uh, 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 built in uh, unified sponge duplex mode. And it is designed to be efficient in hardware. And it's a uh, and at the core, it has a wedge permutation. And it's an iterative permutation. And its round function is a Galois nonlinear feedback SIP register. And it has components, uh, linear feedback, updating in some intermediate variables, and adding round constant, and shifting operation. So the, the, the length of the state is 259 bits. So we view the state as 7. 37, uh, uh, 37 words, where each word is seven bit. And when we are updating, and there are six in uh, six uh, S boxes in the internal state. So two uh, uh, wedge gong permutation, in short, we call it WGP, and four SB. So this is a new iterative S box. So now I'll uh, so the uh, uh, so the algorithmic view of the description. So this uh, this uh, Galois nonlinear feedback SIP register is defined over f2 to the 7, and it, it's defined using a polynomial basis, and it has a feedback uh, and the linear and it has a feedback SIP register, and uh, where there is one term, it's a uh, omega multiplier, so which is again a, a linear, and then the WGP is uh, sum of five such. Uh, 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 five some um, uh, five such monomial product terms with a decimation 13. And then the S box construction, as I mentioned, it's iterative. So it's the uh, uh, the it's uh, the uh, the core core function is a uh, invertible quadratic function followed by a uh, followed by a bit permutation. And we uh, construct this R from uh, Q and P. And then we iterate it five times, and then we apply Q followed by negating two, uh, two bits, uh, 0th bit and the second bit. Then that is how we get the output from an input X. And then the state update is performed accordingly. So here at four registers, at the four uh, state word, we are applying S box and at the two, uh, two words, we are applying WGP. And we are adding two, uh, and, uh, and there are uh, two round constants added at two positions. 
So, so our contribution in this paper is twofold. So we first analyze wage against the correlation power analysis, and then to protect such attacks, we propose a higher order masking scheme for wage. Before I go into the uh, 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 go into the detail of the attack, I would like uh, I uh, also for, uh, also our experimental setup. So we have so we have wage algorithm uh, <coughs> in which is providing power to uh, to DTU uh, to uh, to DUT. And the, and the oscilloscope is basically collecting the power traces. And the workstation is basically controlling uh, the DTU um, uh, by providing NANs, and it's recording the power traces from oscilloscope. So to apply correlation attack, we need power traces. So here we are consider uh, and here we are considering Hemingway as our leakage model, and we use Pearson correlation, uh, Pearson correlation in the in the CPA attack, which is quite uh, standard. So to uh, to apply our attack attack to uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to collect power traces. So we consider the first twelve round of the wage initialization phase. In the initialization phase, where we load the key and nuns, and we collect power traces. We collect ten thousand power traces for different nonces, and each power traces has six hundred points. And we also, uh, in order to find the, you know, uh, in order to recover the key, we also need to do the data flow analysis, which is basically exploiting the internal state update of the uh, wage permutation. So the keys are basically uh, recovered in two phases. In the first phase, we recover seven keywords, and in the second phase, we recover uh, uh, twelve keywords. So. Now, so so we need to, to recover a keyword. We need a, a state word should be dependent on only one keyword and one nonce and at least one nonce byte in a specific round. That means if we want to recover K18, then we recover it at round 18 from the state word one. So here for each, so, so each keyword are recovered step by step. And to recover the uh, uh, keywords, we apply the standard uh, CPA uh, uh, CPA analysis, where we are basically random. We are guessing a key and then computing the measured power according to the power model, and then we uh, find the Pearson correlation with the uh, actual power and uh, with the actual power. So and we get the uh, and we uh, and we uh, recover the key in that way. So this, the following three figures shows the shows the power traces and the corresponding uh, key recovery. So the leftmost figure is the power traces for uh, at round ten, and this K eighteen. So here uh, the point uh, uh, two forty six is the leakiest point, uh, leakiest time point where it exhibiting some uh, uh, some king information, uh, which is found using the uh, Pearson correlation coefficient, and then. The highest we've, after further analysis, the highest uh, correlation is found for the key 96 in the integer representation. So and so this is the uh, and uh, these uh, first uh, first batch key can be recovered in any order. And then next in the second batch, we need to follow a specific order. Again, we need to have uh, again a state word should have uh, should have the property that. Uh, that uh, it depends only on one keyword and at least one nonce by uh, one nonce word. So and keys are recovered in this way. In the so first the uh, K1 is recovered uh, from uh, using uh, K18, which is already recovered in the first batch, and then K3, which is from which is uh, recovered at round 10 from the uh, from the state word one using K18 and K1 and so on. So this is how we can recover. All uh, uh, all uh, uh, the uh, 19 words. So which is basically uh, 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 which are which are containing 128-bit key, as each word is a seven-bit uh, keyword. So now, so we have seen there are uh, some uh, some uh, uh, wages leaking information, wages leaking key information. So now our goal is to construct a masking scheme that can provide TSNI security. And we are we are targeting 
uh, this security for both software as well as hardware. So the our construction, our idea is to divide the state into n shares, which are denoted by S1, S2, and Sn. And in the wage algorithm, the WGP and SB are two nonlinear components, and all other components are linear. So we replace WGP and SB using a T, uh, using TSNI secure WGP and SB. So this is a diagram of a uh, of a first order uh, protected wage. So where we where the uh, where the wage has uh, two state shares S1 and S2, and it has the feedback uh, feedback computation. Uh, feedback computation and a uh, secure uh, WGP and SP computation. So uh, it can be noted that the uh, the linear operation can be performed, the feedback and shifting operation can be performed independently. But when we are evaluating, uh, when we are computing secure WGP and secure SP, uh, the crosshairs needs to be appear. So now this is an algorithmic overview of the of the of the entire uh, mask wage. So. As I already mentioned, the feedback uh, can be computed uh, 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 computed uh, parallelly because all are linear operation uh, over the shares. And here, in the only uh, uh, and in the and in the intermediate uh, state update world, where the uh, the uh, the cross shares are coming. And now we are going to present how to optimize uh, how to uh, how to construct such uh, secure WGP. And secure SB. So, uh, the, as the WGP is uh, defined over a finite field F2 to the 7, and we are considering here additive uh, additive sharing. So, we take we we, we generate the Boolean optimized Boolean uh, optimized Boolean circuit for secure WGP, which contains uh, 172 gates and uh, 313 XOR gates and 66 NOT gates. And in this uh, WGP uh, uh, circuit. We replace each AND gate using a TSNI secure uh, AND gadget. So, and we we leverage the existing literature. We use a secure uh, 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 secure AND gadget uh, from uh, uh, from the path it also work. So, this is how we construct WGP, and the, uh, this is how we construct WGP. And for SB, uh, for the SB, as I mentioned, it has an iterative structure. And this transform and Q is the nonlinear uh, transformation, and it contains uh, and it has three oper uh, three uh, and operation. And we see the zero eighth component and the fifth component has common variable. So here we are applying the common share technique to optimize its hardware area. So uh, so here is a diagram. So it's a, a six input, and the common share, uh, common multi uh, common share multiplication is applied. Uh, on x0, x3, and x4 variables. And x5 and uh, x6, we are applying the standard uh, secure multiplication. And all and uh, since this is iterative, by the end of each uh, uh, each q uh, each q comp uh, compute uh, end of each r computation, we are refreshing the mask. So and we uh, we is uh, and we found it's uh, uh, we found the Oops. So we found, and we 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 found that with the common share multiplication technique, we have a area saving of 21 GT, uh, 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 GE uh, for uh, n equal to four. So which we are saving something for hardware. So now, uh, as uh, so we are be, uh, so now uh, wage is basically so this uh, our proposed uh, construction is secure against TSNI uh, security because. Uh, and intuitively, we are uh, TSNI security ensures the uh, uh, T, T, TSNI sec uh, security has the uh, composition. Uh, com uh, it's a compositional security guarantee, and we chose we designed each gadget that is uh, uh, secure WG, uh, WGP and secure SB so that they are they all are TSNI secure. So that means after computing, so the composition of the uh, the composition of the uh, composition of this gadget according to the wage permutation is again a TSNI secure. And we also estimated the, we also calculated the uh, the number of uh, bits, uh, ran, uh, random bits required for different uh, different gadgets. 
and so basically uh, uh, the gadgets uh, uh, secure malt common malt and uh, and repress mask requires order of n square bits so here the exact number of uh, exact number of bits required by one secure sb is 33n in uh, times n minus 1 and on the other hand for wgb it requires 87n times n minus 1 so as there are uh, 172 and gates and we also uh, and uh, the uh, the corona et al proposed the number of uh, number of uh, random bits required for for lookup table based uh, uh, lookup table based s box is order of nq so for uh, so in summary the one round of wage requires uh, requires uh, 250 uh, 255 times n times n minus 1 and for 111 uh, for 100 as wage has 111 rounds so the total number of uh, random bits required to compute uh, to secure uh, to compute wage is uh, 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 to, uh, 255 times 111 times n into n minus 1 so for n equal to 2 so we need about uh, about 57 k uh, bits uh, so 57,000 bits. So we also imp we implemented uh, to uh, to, uh, to now measure whether the market is uh, secure against CPA or not. We uh, implemented the uh, uh, randomized lookup table based approach because the micro uh, because the uh, because our experiment environment is microcontroller. It's a software implementation. So we use the randomized lookup table based approach. And we so this is the power trace for round ten, and uh, this is the uh, leakage. So the right hand uh, side figure shows the leakage uh, for uh, key eighteen. What I already showed uh, in the unprotected version, we need only six hundred time points to find the leakage. But for the protected wage case, up to uh, sixty thousand time points, there is no leakage exhibited. So now I'll present the hardware implementation results. So wage uh, authenticated encryption, the mask wage authenticated encryption algorithm is implemented in two different libraries. And uh, so here first, uh, this table shows the different area break, uh, 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 different areas for different order, then first order, second order, and uh, third order protected wage. And for example, for the first order, uh, for, for the first order wage, the secure WGP consumes about 2830 gate equivalent and the secure SB consumes uh, about uh, 285 uh, get, get, get equivalent. And we also uh, compared with the, the uh, uh, with the ANF representation of WGP and we found the protected uh, implementation of WGP has 3.7 times over it. So here is the here are the uh, areas for the first order, second order, and third order mask wage on uh, ST Micro 65 nanometer technology. For the first order, uh, first order protected wage requires about 11.12 kilo gate equivalent, and uh, third order requires about uh, 33.98 kilo gate equivalent. So there are uh, different, uh, <coughs> and in this table. This italicized text is uh, is the the area saving compared to the common share approach and the and the naive approach where we are applying only the only the secure multiplication operations. And we also so this is uh, this is an area uh, area breakdown for different components of which for the unprotected implementation 55 percent about 55 percent area was uh, consumed by the LFSR. However. In the protected implementation, uh, about 50% area is consumed by the uh, protected WGP. And so these are the two, uh, uh, two other uh, uh, figures for, uh, uh, for second order and third order. So we also compared our uh, uh, protected wage with other uh, NIST LW2 ca uh, candidates, second round candidates, ASCON, uh, Skinny AED, GIFT, and Sunded GIFT. And then uh, this area comparison shows that wage uh, still ha uh, wage uh, uh, still has a lower area 
although the um, although the uh, the techniques are different and the technology uh, and the and the hardware technologies are different so now i would con uh, i will conclude uh, my talk so in this talk we have uh, so in this basically in this paper we have analyzed wedge against uh, correlation power analysis to recover the key which requires about uh, uh, one uh, 10000 power traces to recover the entire 128 bit key and we presented the first higher order masking scheme of wedge uh, which is providing tsni security in the in the isw probing model and we presented hardware implementation results for first order second order and third order mask wedge and as a future work we are uh, we are uh, we are uh, continuing to uh, ex uh, we will uh, continue to extend our work and incorporate other types of side channel implementation such as threshold domain oriented masking and we are also further analyzing the the leakage against cpa with more time points thank you so much and uh, and uh, uh, before before i thank so i would like to uh, so we would uh, we would like to acknowledge dr mark agard for his great help with the synthesis tool and his valuable comments for this work now thank you everyone for listening my talk and i am happy to take any question in the live session thank you <laughs>